First question. I say it's gentle because it's exactly the information that you need to solve this exact question. Uh, later on, I mean, the reason why the question on the back is so difficult is you've got loads of information, you don't even know what's relevant. Here, I only give you three things, and there are exactly three things you need to work out the area of the triangle. So you can see uh, on the diagram, what have I done? On the diagram? I've identified what's what, so that I know what to put into the half AB sine C formula, and from there, it's just a straight substitution. That's all that question really is, okay? So hopefully you were able to get to this point, pop it into your calculator, and there it is to one decimal place. You happy with that? Okay, so far so good. Question two, this was the first curveball. So it says find X, okay? Now, you can see that the information that you've been given isn't really quite enough in its current form. This is what the question looks like when you first met it. That's what it looks like, right? Can you use cosine rule on this? No. You can't use cosine rule because if you wanted to, to find out this side, you need the opposite angle and the other two sides. And you're kind of stuck, right? Shh. You tell, stay with me. So therefore I put this in. Do you see what I'm doing? I've thought, okay, cosine rule's out. I need sine rule. But in order to get to this, I need the angle that is opposite. So you can see me working that out in green. Uh, I've got the angle sum of the triangle here. Once you know what that top angle is, again, it's some calculator work. Okay. So my answer was, there's my working, uh, 43.2 centimeters. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, can I just point out, shh, year 12, year 12. We only get to the end, if we can't maintain focus. I want you to also note something that I've said about sense checks and how intrigued you have the ability to do much better sense checks than you've ever done before. If you worked out this angle up in the corner, right, 79 degrees, do you notice it's almost identical in size to this angle here? It's just a little bit bigger, right? That just a little bit bigger means you should expect this side here that's opposite to be just a little bit bigger than this side. Does that make sense? Yeah. Which is why you're like 43.2. Well, that's just a little bit bigger than the 43 that's already there. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. 43.2. If you haven't got this down, I will come back, I promise. But let's just move on as a class to number three. Okay. Find the size of the largest angle. The trickiest thing was identifying which angle is it. Can you see what I've done? You see what I've done on the diagram, right? The largest angle matches with the largest side, right? The longest side, which is that 12.1. Okay. Year 12. Year 12. Year 12. You guys know I want you to have this discussion, just not this minute. Hold fire. We'll get to it. If you want the largest angle, you need to know which one's the largest side. And you go opposite. That's the important, the included angle, remember that? Okay. So once you know what is what, you just have to go to the formula sheet and you can see, I've got all three sides. So cosine rule is sort of screaming at you, use me, use me. You just have to make sure you have the right A, B and C. Do you see that? So there's my 12.1, which is that longest side, which is opposite. And then everything else kind of fits into the spots that are left. Um, you notice as well, I think it's helpful to have these two lines here to say, okay, I hit equals, but that's not the angle. That's cosine of the angle, right? Because I know I've, I've hit equals and I'm like, thank God my calculator told me what the answer is and then I move on. But the left-hand side says cos C, which is you need an extra step to get to the angle itself, okay? Uh, 74 degrees to the nearest degree. Can we turn over? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Now, uh, let me just pause for a second. Can I actually get you to put your pens down? I promise you'll have plenty of time to do this. I can put the whole PDF up on Alberta if that's what you would benefit from. Here's what I want to show you. Uh, this diagram has a lot of extra stuff on it, which I didn't add on the first time I drew it. Uh, this is what the diagram looked like at the beginning. Let me get rid of that, that, that. Oh, no, I, I need that. Uh, I need that. There, there we go. 
There we go. Okay. So when I did part A, this is what my diagram looked like. And I hope you can see that's pretty much the minimum. Okay, yeah, the line AC is maybe a question mark. But that's pretty much the minimum you need to actually get that mark. Do you see it's got all the information from the question? It's got the 8, it's got the 3, it's got the bearing. Do you notice to do the bearing, you need to have something that points north. Uh, if you've got a whole compass rose there, that's fine too. But a north is the minimum. Why north? Why not east or west? Because true bearings start from north, right? So therefore you go, draw your north, and then you measure around. Okay. Now, in the process of continuing and solving the question, I added more stuff on. So let me just put all that stuff back, and I will talk through it as I go. All right? So I drew the diagram, and I hope you did too. Um, I tried to give you lots of space for that. That was a big hint. You need as much space as you can to draw a decent diagram. Part B said, calculate the distance. This is the way I did it. What information did I use? I had the 8 and the 3, clearly I'm going to use them because they're other sides in that triangle ABC. But I needed this extra piece of information. Have a look at the diagram. What is that? What am I working out and why? The angle that I'm working out is the, it's not just any angle, it's the included angle up here in the corner, right? This is the angle I want because AC is opposite that angle. Does that make sense? The working I've got says 270, take away 155. What is 270? What's the relevance of that? The line. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So just come up here on your diagram. Do you see that 270 is all the way around? That's 270, right? Um, well, to work out the angle inside the triangle, you've got that purple 270, and you're taking away the 155 on the outside. Does that make sense? So that's why I've got this line of working here to find out what ABC is. 